must be smart or something, boy. You're a boy, aren't you? Ha! I don't know what else he could be. I don't know. Rude bastard ain't ever ask mine, so I ain't ever ask hers. <laughs> What's yours? Brock. <laughs> oh my god, I love Brock. Say, uh, you're not gonna believe me, but uh, that axe you got, uh, it was me what made her. Me and my brother was one of our best. So don't let so nobody else go work on her except for us two. <laughs> you gotta handle her special, or she'll wreck beyond fixing. I understand that. I can enhance her for you right now if it so pleases you, son of a bitch. <laughs> so what say you? <laughs> All right. I do not believe you. Come, boy. There's a rune in the shape of a fork under the grip. <laughs> oh my god. No, dig your feet, God. Uh. <laughs> that was our brand, my brother oh my and me, before god. we split. I got I half of it right here. So see? Much. Look, you want I should upgrade her or not? Hey, yeah, yeah. I'm down well. for any upgrade. I expect an If I get to hear more funny shit come from you. Rock. Fuck else you need. How come your brother's got half your brand? Cause I ain't in a working relationship with that foot licker no more. I wasn't about to let him use it without me and he likewise. Only thing to do was split the brand 50-50 down the middle. I guess that was the last thing we saw eye to eye on. That's what? Sad. You want a hug? <laughs> Hit the road. Sorry. <laughs> what realm are you gents shaking off? Let me guess. All fine? How'd you guess? I'd know that smell anywhere. Used to spend my fair share of time there, but uh, I ain't allowed really? there anymore on account of the uh, incident. What happened? Incident? Well, ain't too sure your daddy's gonna like me talking about it on account of all the swearing and stealing and fucking and all. What? Don't <laughs> judge me. You're the one came in all reeking of elf. Stirs up a man's memories. <laughs> Go on now. I got things that ain't gonna hammer themselves. Brock, what do you know about the serpent in the lake? I know he's too I damn big. Oh, uh, all right. I love Brock. Well, don't look now, but our friends who were hiding in the trees are back for more. Go on, give that axe a twirl. Oh, hi. So long as you don't break nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Take your axe out of my suck out. Ouch! Adequate. <laughs> you know what's adequate? That footwork, you stepping shit. <laughs> Let me do it. Let me hit him. Let me throw it. Ah, damn it, it keeps on phasing through, Brock. Let me throw it. For saying my footwork is shitty. Your paw can chill. You gonna learn to do that too? Right in the ass. I'm not sure. Eh, I might as well uh, I might as well take this with me and you know, there's, there's it. quality material. Raid you're going might last a day. <laughs> okay. You know what? <laughs> Screw you. Something for the boy? No. <laughs> really? I get. Come on, let me throw it at Brock. Let me do it. Mm. Come. It was nice meeting you, Brock. I'll be thinking of a name for your beast. How about I name her fucking Gratitude? Hey, fucking gratitude, come over here. I like it. <laughs> what a perfect name. <laughs> if the Dwarf King captured more than one dragon, he must have needed them to create this legendary armor. Interesting thought, lad. And it makes sense. Nearly everything about dragons is useful and contains power. Teeth, scales, even excrement. Excrement? Yeah. Uh, 
shit. Dragon shit is powerful? <laughs> I lied. Potently powerful. <laughs> <laughs> the head is having fun with you. Oh, I, I knew that. This must be the three mythical ingredients Brock was talking about. I can say with utmost certainty that I've never laid eye on a stranger set of objects in my life. How are Brock and Sindri supposed to build with... whatever they are? Don't count the dwarves out, lad. They're right pricks, but they're resourceful. They once made an unbreakable chain out of little more than a cat's footstep and bird spit. That doesn't even make sense. Well, that's the legend. If you wanted sense, you shouldn't be talking to a severed head. <laughs> True. You boys look right beaming. Well, the squirt does. Can't see squat behind that furzel fuzz you call a beard. They found the materials. But they're so weird. How do you build a piece of armor out of something so... so... Nanya. Nanya? Nanya fucking business. Trade secret. <laughs> we get our ways. Oh. Get down. We jump. Really? Come. <laughs> really? Do not panic. Why would I panic? Whoa. I have you. Right, you know that. <coughs> Look here. Oh, well. Good. We should keep moving. Damn. The chisel tip. Give the man credit. He has a talent for destroying things. Remember that head. Never leaves my mind. <laughs> ah, the great dining hall. Envy of all Midgard. Funny. I remember there being a massive candelabrum. Really livened up the place. There. Oh, yes. You just can't help but break things, can you? <laughs> nope. I just love the storm shit. <laughs> so better get used to it there, Mimir. Mimir, why do you have Bifrost crystals in your eyes? A loving gift from the giants. Since I used to do so much traveling between realms, they thought it would be more convenient for me than having a crystal I could lose. Did it hurt? No because I wisely fortified myself with 16 cups of Billow Maiden's Ale. Got so inebriated, I tried convincing the giants to put him in my nipples instead. <laughs> Almost talked them into it, too. Can you imagine? Mimir of the Bifrost teats. <laughs> ah, those were the days. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll stop now. <laughs> Seems like uh, Mimir has made a lot of bad choices, so there it is. Huh? <laughs>